So the PIR board comes in a standard sheet size, which is 2400 by 1200 millimeters. If you're having them shipped and you're not picking them up, I suggest you have them cut into three lengths of 800 millimeter by 1200. That way it makes them easier to ship, they're easier to handle and the shipping will actually cost you less because it's not taking up as much space. So the product that we're using to mount the PI board is called a stick pin. Basically it's a small metal spike that's quite soft so you can fold it over. It's got an adhesive um, backing on the plate and then you've got this little clip here that slides down. It's barbed so once you put it on it's going to stay on. Um, so that's how we're going to mount the PI board today. Right, so now we need to cut the panels from being a manageable size to fit in this area which has the curved edges here. So to do that, the easiest thing I've come up with is simply a paint can. The uh, contours actually fit really well. So what I'm going to do now is basically hold the panel up in place and then just mark the corners, cut them out, and then we'll grab the stick pins and put it in. Now to cut the panel I'm just going to use this very small hacksaw, you could use a coping saw as well. So now that we've cut the PIR board to shape, we need to mount it and as mentioned before we're going to use these stick pins. Uh, the ones I've ordered here are 62mm so they're, they're only really just coming through the board. In hindsight I probably should have ordered longer ones. Right, so I'm going to mount the stick pins just in these two centre bits here. Um, I would have liked to have put them here, but they're not long enough. So what I'm wanting to do is I'll put them here because we don't want to bend the PI board. You want to keep it in its natural state. Right, so once you've attached the PR board and you've put the clip on, what you need to do now is there's going to be a sharp edge. If you have a, um, these are just a wee bit too short. If you've got long ones, you can actually bend them over and then just tape over. But what I'm having to do because these are so short, you can't bend them over. We're just going to cut the end off with some pliers, like so. Make a nice little flush edge. And then just get some of this aluminium tape that we've used elsewhere in the van and just tape over. And then just tape over the whole thing, just like that. Alright, so we've got all the wall panels done. Uh, the back ones are interesting, took a wee bit of uh, creative cutting. Uh, as you basically, uh, the edges are not straight, they sort of lean forward like that, the front and back, so a bit of yeah, a Z creative cutting there, but we are all on now. So onwards and literally upwards. We're doing the roof. So what we're gonna do now is just measure in between the two ribs here, just to get this piece in. So we want to leave a bit of a gap. So I'm going to go for this one, 480 millimeters, and then go to about there, boy. So I'm going to buy 480 millimeters by 400. So let's get this cut. All right, so just, we're just going to measure out 480 by 400. 400 here, and let's get that away. 400 here as well. Look at where 48 is. Cool, very good. Four hundred, four hundred, and 
480. So. One of the problems when measuring out this stuff is, and cutting it is it's so light that it just moves around. So just get used to that. It's a bit of a pain. Just like that. Having a nice long ruler like this as well is good for measuring and marking. Right, double check our measurements. So we've got 400 proteins, flush, 480, 480. Right, now let's cut. Right, so this table saw was my grandfather's. Nothing much to look at, but it's good, it's reliable, it works, it's simple. Just the blade out. Let's just line up our cut here. Oh, that's almost perfect. Let's just make sure we're cutting on the right side. We want to cut the waist side. Good. Make sure the power is turned on. Here we go. So now we're ready to mount it. This piece, because it's so small, I'm just going to use two stick pins. So simply just pull the backing off, press them on. Be careful because they are sharp. You know, you're not going to impale your hand or anything else on them. So just be really wary of them when you're actually working around them. Uh, that cable is going to sit nicely in that little. Um, Corrugation. Let's make sure we've got this around the right way. Looking good. Once you're lined up, push it on. Right. So it's in. And then a couple of these little clips. Push them up as hard as we can. Like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bend over the top of the pins like that. And then just a piece of the foil tape over the stick pin. Just helping make that seal nice. And that's, that's the process, nice and simple. Measure twice, cut once, put your pins in, push it up, fold them over, put tape on. Rinse and repeat. Right, so the ceiling's all done. Apart from around the fan here, we just need to finish off the wiring. Uh, you can see the wiring hanging down for the lights. And there's also this section at the back here that hasn't been done because I'm waiting to put another fan in there. So that's the PIR board all installed. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.